Hi guys, Renard here. Today I'm playing a little game called Transfer Mice. I used to play this so much back in the day. I've got a lot of accessories. So maybe one day I'll do like a dress up thing, just trying on different outfits. But for today I'm just gonna try and play a few rounds. Oh. I'm in a cr very small uh, channel here, just three people, just so that I can show off things a little bit easier. And once again... Let's see if I can get him up to the hole. And nope, they're just gonna do that. I'm... It's been a few years since I played the game, I'ma be honest. But the whole point of the game is that you have a shaman, that's the one whose name is highlighted. And they have tools like the ones I just used to try and help the other mice get to the get the cheese and then back to the hole. And uh Yeah. As you can see, it's a little bit challenging because it is a platformer. So there can be some goofy physics sometimes. And once there's only two mice left on the screen, things kind of take a different turn. So once there's two mice left on the screen, you kind of... That countdown goes straight to the, like 15 seconds left, so you gotta kind of zoom. Seven and three people might not be the best. Of course, I'm over here. Messed up the physics. This is the zero gravity level, I guess. Ah, I couldn't get in. This is a cute one. You can- all these maps, I'm playing in normal mode, not vanilla. So you'll, most of the maps you're gonna see here are player made. So you can make your own maps and just play that way. I used to have so many custom ones, but if you forget the ID for it, this little tag right here, then... You can't access the room anymore. I don't- I no longer have that list of my custom rooms. Of course, I have a lot of the- uh, If I press I, I have a lot of items I got back in the day. They're all consumables. These paintbrushes let me paint on the screen. They just leave a little tag on the screen. They use that, it just tags my name. <laughs> I can take a selfie and actually save the photos, so... Make a really cool outfit. I have 63 of these. <laughs> I got some of these you can make. Um, they're little letters you can draw on and you can send them to other players if you know their name. And these are all temporary outfits and some of them are temporary pets. And they'll just follow you around. And a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Like a rainbow trail. <laughs> and yeah, if you do the holly right here next to someone, it's, uh, you'll end up kissing them. And that's pretty cute. All of these are throwable items. So the fireworks make fireworks, the airplane, uh, paper airplane will fly around. Uh, a lot of these are just random items. If you, I once had like 50 pumpkins and I would just throw them at people. <laughs> and these are the coins you actually get in game. So as you complete different levels, you get different kinds of coins that you can redeem in the village. And the cheese coins you can actually redeem for cheese, but I don't recommend it. I think it's a waste of money since you get a, you get cheese when you finish the level. So you might as well save these cheese coins for um limited items in the shop. And I died. <laughs> Yeah, every time you collect a cheese, it gets added here, and you can buy accessory items with them. Obviously, all they cost a lot of money. So a lot of people will just buy phrases, which is the currency on it, here. Oh. Well, that's a new item I didn't. 
I didn't know existed. Ah. Uh. I'm sorry if I sound a bit weird. I'm a bit congested, congested today. It can be a bit frustrating because this whole whole point of the game is to work with other players, and people don't always want to work with other players. Oh, that's some cute new hair. So bad I can't see it. Let's see. He still won. <laughs> hmm. This is interesting. I like what they did here. Little gears. Gotta use the portals. So a lot of it's a puzzle solving game, a part platformer. You have to work with other people. Oh, I love- I forgot about these. I'm gonna put this one on. Uh, I need to change my icon. That's some old artwork from No Longer a Friend. Ooh. Yeah, you can make them different sizes and the, the map will pan. Oh, jeez. Oh. Part platformer, part puzzle, part co-op. Gotta work with other people and just help your little mousey get to the end. Whoops. Oh, you're so much heavier with cheese. We're zombies now. Time to climb. Oh. A big part here that I'm doing is called the double jump. Well, not even the double jump because you can't do that, but it's like a wall climb. You gotta time the... AWD keys perfectly to climb up a wall. And here we go. I like being a cat. And once you finish a custom level, if it's a newer one, you can say if you liked it or not. And that'll determine if you see it again. I'm on normal mode right now, but I can always turn on hard mode. There's no spirit or red anchor. I'm not going to do that for a while. Oop. I accidentally left that room. I think it was this one. Oh, my dead friends list. That's so old. I have so many people blocked. What did I do when I was a kid? <laughs> um, skills. Oh, here we go. The skill tree. As you level up your shaman, you get these cool things. Of course, I level up the cat and the angel. And I put up a little snowman. I really love my little wolf outfit. Uh, I joined this game in 2014. Wow. Adventuring points. This is a new system that was new when I, a few years ago before I stopped playing for a while. Uh, you can't get this badge anymore. There's so many good memories of this game, man. This game is definitely a lot of fun. Oh, they have a Discord? There's so many new things that have happened since I stopped playing. But it's still such an amazing game. You can definitely check out survival mode after this. This one's a puzzle-based one. Whoop! Come on, come on, good boy. Good mousy. There we go. This is a cool map. Mm, the 
we gotta get to the top. Get to the top, jump here, jump here, and bomb myself down. <laughs> Some people are just masters of physics and know exactly what to do and how. It's amazing. When you read oh. Slip and slide, Matt. Oh, I got wind. Gotta pick up that speed. Where we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, second place. First place always gets to the most XP, but second place ain't bad. Oh, this one's a rose level. Oh, here we go. Up, up, and away. What? Yes! Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a lot you can do in the map creator to really personalize this. Like... You can mess with the gravity, the wind, how the map is organized, the different type of textures the blocks have. Because it determines how you run on it, how you climb it. Like, there's just so many cool and interesting things that you can just manipulate and make these really interesting custom things. I've rarely ever seen two maps that were really similar. And after all these years, I've seen a lot of really unique ones. If it has a really simple number like this, that means it's a... The map was made by, like, the development team. Well, that was 40. So that was actually a map created by the devs. Ah, uh, sometimes people just make really good map art. It's amazing. Like, I don't know how they get so detailed. And I make it moving as well. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I tried to wait to help help them and then the shaman just fucking sent me in the hole anyways. Oh, this one's like a pseudo racing map. The racing map, they're not bad, but I can never do boot camp maps. Boot camp like teaches you how to break the physics, how to do parkour, and you need to have perfect precision. The maps are so fucking hard. You get you get like in limited lives to try and do it because it's so hard. Almost everyone dies. Like, we did some of that, so I'm probably gonna show you my favorite game mode, uh, Survivor. Yeah. The point of Survivor is that the Shaman isn't here to help. The Shaman is here to kill. And your job is to try and survive. So there's a lot of, uh, ticks and tips and tricks. That both people can use to try and uh, win. <laughs> of course, I'm a, I'm lagging a little bit, so they're gonna fucking hate me. They do not like people who lag here. I guess it messes with their pristine game, but I think it's fine. Let's just try to have some fun. <laughs> here we go. Oh my god. Well, this shaman's a spammer. Oh my god, I'm so... <laughs> I'm so rusty. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Come on, bro, you can do it. Nah. Uh, last they played was two years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess I hope you guys enjoyed a, a, seeing a little bit of a uh, transfer mice. It's definitely a really fun game. I recommend checking out. It's free to play. So even if you don't want to buy any of the customizable stuff, you can still grind for it, but for a free game on Steam, you can easily just check it out and move on if you need to. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys uh, like and subscribe below. Leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions of what I should play, or even what I should draw. Bye bye!